That is called a bird nest fern. I got some other tulips and stuff. And Mrs. was saying how she never saw hanging, what are those? Hanging something. And we're going to be, and here's a sign. Moringa palm. There's a moringa palm. They have a sign. And there's some other flowers that we're temporarily freezing on. Hydrangeas. And I showed you the hanging hydrangeas. Um, but you can see all the beautiful flowers and floral and palm trees and all kinds of cool stuff at this. Um, Phipps is in the Oakland section of Pittsburgh. A flamethrower palm. Oh, we better watch out. It might set us on fire. So we'll be back. A cool palm tree. Did you see the, this palm? It looks like the old fans that they use to do the dances with. It does. Oh, so. And some other... Yeah. Here is a cool looking plant. Not all of them are labeled. Some blown glass. That's really cool. Um, the... Um, Butterfly palm. So I wonder if the butterfly palm attracts some kind of butterflies. If any of you that are from the palm type places and know whether butterfly palm is um, good for certain butterflies, let us know. We'd be really interested. A dwarf date palm. And there is an Imperial Broomfeld. They've got so many neat plants in here. I'm not going to be able to get everything, I don't think, for you. But uh, this Jelly Palm, that is cool. I like the name, too, Jelly Palm. Look how that thing goes. Oh, my. Hey, babe. Or Bella. You know, Bella probably would be better. I'm trying to get all the way up on that palm tree. Thank you, ma'am. As I told her earlier, don't get old. We'll be back. Oh, is, is that more blown glass? There's more blown glass. And I say, as I say, we're going to be, I'll be back. I find other stuff to teach. What? Yeah, you and Bella can do that. Here is a fiery costus. I have a feeling that this may be one of our longer videos, folks, so I hope you all stick with us because this is just absolutely flowers in here and all the blown glass. Here's a statue. Oh, okay. Now we're going into a different one. Had some tulips. And actually, well, we got here pretty much at the opening. Hit.
What does that say? Phipps Pizza? The wine bottle. Does that say Phipps Pizza? The wine bottle? Okay. Here's some more of the blown glass. That that is so awesome. Now I don't know um, if they still. And here's another really big palm tree called a Florida Royal Palm. You know why I'm here. Yep. You're really zoomed in. I've been playing with the zoom. I don't know what I'm trying to get. Hi, folks. Where? Right, there's some red berries. Um, since we can have somebody hold the camera for us today, other than me or Mrs., you got a shot of both of us together. You should feel, ooh, that's cool. You should, what is that? Look at this thing on the leaf over here. Well, there's one coming down. Oh. Does it tell you what those are? So that's cool. And here's some kind of flower. And these are called Chinese fan palms. Peperomia. At first I thought it said pepperoni. It's peperomia. I'm not sure what those red plants in the back there are, but they're really cool looking. And that has a thing that you look in and it spins. It's a kaleidoscope. It's, uh, Mrs. said it's like a kaleidoscope. I like them orange flowers. Orange and purple are my two favorite colors. So that's a really, some of them are deeper orange than others. What, the orange? Oh, we did? And Mrs. said we had them in the. In our yard, I don't remember. Were they orange? Yes, yeah, some of them were orange. They had orange and yellow. And... and then there's this purple and white flower, which is really cool. Then they have a uh, fountain. What a fountain? Yeah. It's like a bird bath. Some lilies. Yeah, with the white coming out of the purple. So what are you talking about? Oh. Like fuzzy purple. And now we are entering the desert room.
And right away you see some big cacti. Golden barrel cactus. Yeah. Ooh. And then there's some more blown glass up there. That's really cool. What is it? Agave. He makes sweet now. Oh, that there is agave. I thought you were looking at that little red maroonish. Yeah. So we don't know what the reddish thing is. But for you diabetics, there's some agave. There's, yeah. It looks like a furry cactus. <laughs> That's really cool. And these actually look like, what is it called? Chicks and hens? Yeah, hens and chicks. Hens and chicks. Which we actually have. There's a silver ticket. And this kind of looks like it has furry leaves, too. There is some Queen Victoria agave. So now I'm wondering if all agave is used as a sweetener or certain types. And there's a Joshua tree. Yeah, so now my mom had one, but she must have trimmed it because it never got that big. And we got blue candle cactus. I wonder why it's called blue candle. We have a succulent something like that in our yard. Here is a desert rose. Oh, whoops, this is the desert rose. This is cool. Look at this. This is cool with the red flowers. Oh. And there's yellow flowers, but I think it might be a separate plant growing together. I'm telling you, folks, you don't want to, if you're in the Pittsburgh area, you don't want to miss this place. This is so cool. That almost looks like a snake the way it's growing. Oh, yeah. So... The African Afri Af the African tree grape has a great sign here. You can see I'm not dead. I'm dormant. Which I think is just awesome, that sign. I want a t-shirt that says that. And here's some more. Here is an American century plant, which I thought looked like a huge snake plant. Here's a starfish flower. Is that, um, it doesn't say what those are. Okay. Now, there's a thing that says wave here. If the fountains aren't going and you wave, you get the fountains going and the things are spinning. 
Okay, wave your hand in front of that, babe, so they can see. That is so cool. And they got some hanging flowers. And so this, that's just awesome. The East Room dedicated to Dorothy McNeil Kamen. Yep. They got some wooden carving bears there in this one. The forest back there. So there are some really cool foxes made out of flowers. And they're supposed to be flat by blue birds in here and they have binoculars that you can use. Where's, where do you, you see one? Oh, there's one on the bear. So you can see it. Now, of course, they're not real blue birds, but And of course, we will definitely be back. And there is the bird that you hear. Mm -hmm. Dragon. And this is the Broderie Garden in the manner of seventeenth century French Peritere de Broderie. Replacing the cloister garden. And I'm sure I totally butchered what that language was, but, well, it's French. But. Coming soon, butterfly forest, a favorite for all guests. Of all ages, Butterfly Forest awes visitors with an up, cup, come in, an up close look at some of nature's most prized pollinators. Coming May 4th to our stove room, enjoy the majesty of a multitude of species surrounded by plants and delight in the fluttering array of vivid colors, shapes, sizes, patterns, and motions. So that'll be really cool. It sounds like they actually turn it into a butterfly garden for a while. And here is the metamorphosis of the butterfly. So if you all are up here in the May 4th thing, you want to check this out, because they'll actually have butterflies here. At least that's what it sounds like to me. So we're back, decided to come back in this because we didn't see anything, but cooking class. Join Chef Emily Larson of Spilling the Soup for this virtual class inspired by the Summer Flower Show. Chef Emily will prepare a smoky eggplant panini, a pickled baby corn salad, a mini fruit and cheese plate, and jammy pinwheel cookies you can watch or cook at home. And there is a, um, whatever they call those things for you. Hmm? 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Here's some ants invading the picnic. If that isn't cool. These are like some big butt plants. Mrs. Never Saw Zellius in a pot. Oh, wow, look at the gnomes. Shout out to Crystal's Pets and Plants. We'll be tagged below with Shadow Street in the description. Not open today, but sometimes they got children's pot of plant station, which probably is really cool. They got a radio flyer wheelbarrow. That is awesome. Being pushed by a troll, but radio uh, that got some parsley and kohlrabi. Yeah, that's kohlrabi right there. What is it? Oh. That is a type of mint. What is it? Cors Corsian? Corsican? Cors How do you pronounce that? Something like that. Swiss chard. This is a delicious monster. As popular on Instagram these days as they are in gardens, Monsteria has become the it plant of social media and design blogs. So now I'm part of the it crowd because I got it on YouTube. Ha ha ha. It's native to the tropics of Central America. Monstrana, Monstera climbs high in the rainforest canopy, attaching itself to or other trees and branches, thick aerial roots reach to the forest, floral to lend support. The delicious part of the scientific name refers to the fruit, but only the ripe fruit. Now there is a slight incline here, um, just so you know, but it is wheelchair and handicap friendly. That is an Australian sword fern. I love the names of some of these things. Headed into the tropical fruit and spice room. That's a good place for Mrs. and I because you know we're spicy. <laughs> Indoor oak. Huh. more of the blown glass and I started to say I don't know if they still do it there's a park that's actually in Squirrel Hill called Frick Park where they used to have a festival every year where you could see them actually blowing glass you remember that hun at Frick Park right in front of you yeah there's Bananas in the fruit tree. In the in the fruit tree. Well, yeah. Bananas and pajamas are coming down the stairs. Calamon, cal 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 That's a neat tree.
chopped up scrape squash. I guess that's an invasive oh, species. Look for spotted something. And this is the outside gardens. Now some of them are not got butterfly. Now of course it's not quite spring. Got a little snail there. But they got some blooms out here. Guess it is that daffodils, hon? Huh? Is that daffodils? Yeah. Mrs. had spotted the blooming bush of some sort out here. And they got an actual birdhouse and yeah. out here, so probably get the birds in the well, who knows when they're if the spring, summer, they might even be winter birds in there. <laughs> Did you see this? The face in the tree? Oh, look. That's kind of cool. And here's. They collect the water, comes down and gets into the pot. <laughs> Here's a turtle. So some pretty cool stuff out here too. It's kind of cold, but you got ducks, and in the summer they probably have the fountain going and that. There's a fish in there. And the huge hole in that tree. Oh, I guess it's a stump. There's a little wooden bridge here. And oh, I have a feeling that you can go in. Yeah, you can go in the tree and look out from the other side. The house, the flower box. Uh, yeah, hold on. Uh, this is called a little people section. And she's actually down there. I don't know how she thinks she's going to get up. We'll have to but, bring in a crane. <laughs> yeah, so, there's some little pine trees. Things. Ooh, they're pretty, too. Yeah, they change color with the seasons. Apparently, they change color with the seasons. Along with the leaves. There's a dog tag. Ornament, a there's a couple of them that have dog tags. Ornamental oregano. Oh, fancy oregano, eh? There's some tiny daffodils. So we have a coffee tree. And I'm beating Mrs. from grabbing the beans off of it. I'm sure Darian would be trying to help her get the coffee beans. Shout out to a moment in the word. Linked in the description. Here's a macadamia nut tree. Okay. And there's... The macadamia nuts. That doesn't look like what I eat, that's for sure. No, that's a prickly currant apple. That's not a macadamia nut. I don't think the... Yeah, they have flowers, but not the nuts yet on the macadamia nut.
And Mrs. thinks that the bark on these look like eyeballs. And for the daring, you can climb all the way up there. But that is not for the handicapped people like me. And here's my palm tree, Old Man Palm. As my granddaughter pointed out to me. I got giant wash sponges up there with raindrops coming out of them. Oh, I guess they're supposed to be clouds. No, I got giant wash sponges. Oh. Can you hear the thunder? Is this, um, oh, no, it's sea cabbage. It kind of looked like, um, the stuff I got seeds for you for, not sea cabbage. Oh, lamb's ears? Yeah. Look, look at these little purple flowers. They're really pretty. Aren't those really pretty? Yes. We got a ladybug. Eat them aphids. Food of the gods. Oh, it's cooked. Yeah. Cooked Yeah, thank you. It's a chocolate treat. That's for dang sure. Yes. Now, Mrs. is holding me back from grabbing the fruit. But that doesn't say cocoa. That's his chocolate tree. Here is a I can't even read that. Eastern Cape Giant Sea Ad, which I think looks like a huge pineapple. And tree farm. Shout out to a surfer. Link in the description box. Look at these orange flowers. It's been some kind of orchid show, and this one was third place. This is a cool looking tree of some sort. And this is Orchid Society of Western Pennsylvania trophy. Which I think it's really neat, pretty. I think this is really cool too. Look at this plant. Isn't that? I think it's cool. Yeah. Some aliens in the water. I guess they like the orchids and flowers too. There is fish in there. Tiny plants, big beauty. With plastic frogs also. <laughs> There is, there is a trailing watermelon begonia. 
They were, they were hanging at the staircase. There's another more cool um, blown glass. And of course, they got a nice little flower. So, we'll be back in a bit. Okay, so this is, you saw this in the beginning, you get to see these flowers, and, oh, birds. Um, and at the end, I really, if you're in this area, highly suggest coming here. It was awesome. And um, just want to uh, say, if you need a walker, wheelchair, cane, any type of assistive device that you need to help you get out, enjoy life, see places like this, or even in your house and enjoy life and make it easier. It's not making you handicapped. It's making you handy capable. Thank you all for coming along. Please give us that thumbs up. Uh, we do have a buy me a coffee link if you would like to help pay for the admission to places like this for us. And I hope you have a good day. God bless.